At first, I didn't know anything about branch painting, right? Well, I had an idea of it, but I don't know how, you know, Chinese people um, paint it, their, paint, their um, paintings, obviously. So it was fun to learn how to do it. It was fun to see um, Jensen's um, art. And I think it was a pretty fun, like, topic or new experience for me. And I gained experience, like, um, Maybe in drawing, like with a pencil, I can apply some some um, techniques of brush painting to it, like like the leaf Jensen show was. So we, I can just apply that technique to a like a pencil drawing, and I think it, it'll be it, it'll fit well. The favorite being patient. <laughs> What I mean by that is being patient with the uh, with the ink, right? Because yeah, it's kind of annoying, you know. You make a mistake here and you have to restart it. But my, I know. Apart from that, being patient with Jensen, because you know, um, I couldn't sometimes understand him, you know, well. But you know, I get, I got the idea of what he's saying, and I just. Um, I think it is my favorite piece of drawing that I made. It was the uh, blossom, the first lesson I think it was. Cause out of all my art that I made while Jensen was with us, it was the most, um, I think in my opinion, like the most beautiful drawing that I made. And you know, I like it because I spend easily after class like two hours almost three hours and you know the effort I put on it I can see it in the drawing it was very very beautiful done. Mm. apart from experience and a new um, you know skill I think learning about Chinese culture I don't know how to say that word um, I think that was the big um you know the biggest gain that i get because people don't like don't know a lot from other cultures i like me i don't know anything i don't even know my own like i know some things but like you know and learning about other cultures is interesting because you see what they like what they don't like what they do what they don't do and it's kind of fun like brush painting is cool and you know, I don't know how to explain myself, but like, I liked it. Okay, I will take everything and teach teach it to other people that don't even know it, that it exists. I will um, take every technique, every single brush, and try to teach every single person the Chinese culture as well as the painting so they can experience it more um, things in life and don't keep it and don't be kept in the dark. My favorite lesson was the bamboo one, both of them and it's not because it was easy but it also came out really beautiful and I definitely would try it, it again. But I also like the final masterwork and including all those three techniques together to make a masterpiece. Um, I like the other ones, but those ones are my favorite ones and that I would definitely do again. My favorite part of all of it was being with him and do every single thing together instead of separate um it, it felt like i was there with him doing the work and him teaching us all the different things basically every single thing was my favorite and i definitely wish to have another opportunity with him 
so I can learn more and do things. I never knew about brush painting. But after seeing the assignment at first, I was so confused and I immediately went to search it. And when I saw those paintings, I immediately thought, this is hard, I cannot do this. It's gonna be a really hard work. I hope it will turn out the best. But after seeing it and after doing it, I saw that it was very fast, easy. Sometimes it wasn't that easy, but it still came out uh, wonderful. It was a wonderful experience. And I definitely learned more about Chinese culture as well as every single thing that I didn't even knew. So I'm really grateful for the lessons. Um, so before we had Jensen in, I didn't know anything about brush painting. I only knew kind of what it was, but I didn't know like the process or like what tools you needed or like that you needed to use ink. Like I didn't know any of that. I thought it was just regular paint. Um, but after I learned that it's not really that hard to do, you just have to make sure that you, you know, use the right um, amount of water and ink and brushes and just take your time and a lot of practice and patience like any other art piece that you do. So I thought it was a great experience. I'm really glad that I got to experience it with everybody else. Uh, my favorite part was probably learning about the um, the flowers because I didn't know that like a certain flower was so important in, in the culture. Like, I don't really think any of us, like we don't have like a specific thing that we all like really know about and we really respect, like the, the lotus flower. So it was very interesting learning about that and also how he was very patient with us. And like, you know, if like we had a lot of trouble with a certain lesson, like the fish, he went over again the next class and like more in depth and was very understanding. Like this is our first time doing it. And he, you know, took his time and made sure we all understood it before he moved on to the next lesson, which I really thought was nice. And um, I learned um, more about art because I obviously love doing art and I like painting a lot. And so obviously when I came in, I was expecting to do like something different, learn more things about, you know, art and different cultures and stuff. So I'm really happy that I learned that. And um, I feel like a lot of the stuff we learned can be used in like just regular paint, like acrylic paint, uh, which is something that I've already practiced a little bit without the ink. So like the flowers, like making the leaves in the bamboo or like doing the bamboo stick or, you know, all that stuff is definitely like, you can portray that into regular paint or re like even drawing, you can do that in drawing. So I definitely think I'll be using it in the future if it's not with like ink or whatever. Um, I definitely think that if, you know, a kid is gonna try to learn more about brush painting or any other art in the future or any culture or whatever, you definitely need to be patient and take your time, don't rush doing it. it. It takes practice like everything else in the world does. So don't get frustrated. If you get frustrated, maybe just like stop and work on something else or do something that you feel more comfortable with. And don't feel like your stuff isn't as good as the teachers because the teacher has been doing it a lot longer than you have and you just started. So be patient, take your time and don't think about it too much because I definitely think about it way too much and then I stress myself out. So just take your time. Thank you.